Let me stop, I think. Hi! I can go? Sorry? The middle one? Okay, yeah, thanks. to 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel I am still in Uis but today I'm moving on I will show you on the map what's going on so this here is Namibia I am now right over here and today I'm going to follow this road then make a shortcut here and then I want to end up here in Twijfelfontein and there are some pretty interesting things to see around Twijfelfontein so I'm pretty excited I think it's going to be a nice day it is not very far I think it will be around 150 160 kilometers of riding so that's perfect and then I have time to like do some local exploring so uh, yeah I'm all ready and uh, let's go <laughs> Where do I go? Uh, no, going wrong. <laughs> Pay attention. This way. Oh yeah. Basically, I'll be riding to the other side of the Brandberg. So I'm going to ride all the way around it. up here hey beautiful some trees some green that's been a while ah of course I'm now at the is this the Ugab River yes aha uh, it doesn't have water at the moment but this is the area where the desert elephants usually are because they eat the trees here and this is also where you can get uh, rhino. There's some rhino walking up the Uga River and uh, desert lions. But I believe the desert lions are not here at the moment. They were in the area two months ago, the locals told me, but not right now. So, should be okay. This is now, this is town called Anik, Aniksab.
absolutely stunning area is this total different part of Namibia than I've seen so far gorgeous oh, there's another river here this is the or am I crossing the Ugab again? No, this is the Huap. Aba Huap. You can just already see it by all the trees that suddenly grow here. That's also dry. These rivers only have water in the rainy season. In December. Stop, I think. Hi, I can go. Sorry, the middle one. Okay, yeah, thanks. track so at some point the river must have dropped some water here because otherwise these trees would not be able to grow here I'd say here so I'm first going to uh, check in drop my stuff and then uh, take Savannah for some local exploring here Wow what a cool place let me see if I can get a room here I got myself a room I'm staying right over here so I put most of my luggage inside so I can ride nice and light. Let me park here. This is my first stop. I'm now on my way to a geological feature called the organ pipes. I can already imagine how that might look like. Ooh. Yes, there we are. So these are called the organ pipes and they are dolerite columns. Oh, let me see if I can find another good example. And well, the reason why these dolerite columns kind of look the way they do, that all has to do with physics. And now, of course, physics is not my expertise. Um, for that, we got to ask Ryan from Fortnite. Wow, look how cool. This is fantastic. Wow. So, but um, yeah, but even though physics is not really my expertise, I will give it a go and explain why you get these shapes. So according to the laws of physics, any free deformable body tends to form a sphere because a sphere has the largest possible volume with the smallest possible surface area. Now bodies that cannot form freely, like confined basalt rock, they will form hexagons. And that's because that's the closest, closest geometrical shape to a sphere. And they can be connected to each other without gaps. So that still makes it the largest possible volume for the smallest possible surface area. <sighs> and if you've seen uh, that video 
can't remember which episode it was in Iceland where I saw something very similar and the principle here is the same so when this dolaritic magma cooled down it contracted and that created small fissures in polygonal sections and eventually turned out like this how amazing is it hey So I'm walking now back to Savannah and then about 800 meters that way is another really cool geological feature that I'm going to check out. Wow, wow, this is so cool. This is called the Burnt Mountain and it wasn't actually burnt by flames, but this original shale layer got actually burnt by hot basaltic magma that was rising up and what you get then is this which is an example of contact metamorphism so what happened was that basaltic magma came up and this hot rock melt of over a thousand degrees celsius came in contact with shale and that caused the shale to undergo thermal and chemical modifications and this shale was an original lake deposit so it was very rich in organic material so geologists even found small layers layers of coal so that actually turned it into coal and that purple and reddish look those are caused by uh, iron oxides and manganese oxides Wow, really cool. <laughs> there are just so many really cool things to see in this area. It's just really, wow, incredible. Okay, that was the awesome, awesome burnt mountain. Now there's one more thing I want to check out. That's not a geology thing, which is also not so far away from here. Wow, spectacular. <laughs> oh, this riding wind is so nice because if I just uh, stand still and walk around in my, <laughs> in my uh, suit, then poah, it gets really hot. It's midday now, so that also uh, helps. Okay, so besides those old rock paintings that I saw at the Brandberg, maybe I also, also have some pretty old rock engravings and they are around this area. So while I'm here, you know, why not? Let's check out some of these engravings. They're supposed to be pretty good. They are quite famous. So. Wow, that's amazing. These are the carvings. Believed to be done by the Bushmen people and they use the Pops, uh, stone to scratch right. with, yeah. which is harder than the sad stone. And there's a, ze a zebra. Correct, with uh, nicely done with the stripes. Uh, yeah. Two to six thousand years. Those are the estimated. Yeah. Different generations. They were nomadic hunter gatherers, but Twaitha Fontaine believed to be a holy place. During their festivals, they come here. They draw 
communication yeah. to lead the message they draw for fun education spiritual no pen no papers that time no camera for photos yeah internet here <laughs> story book here yeah. but some of the drawings might have different meanings or different interpretations which we don't know any guess any imaginations is welcome top ones those are two oryx uh, giraffe and yeah. baby yeah. sable flamingo and then send an elephant Flamingo oh, is a wavish That's the flamingo there. Yes, ma'am. Wavish Bay Lagoon and Swakopmund. Yeah. But they used to go to a tosh up and when it's wet during the breeding time. Yeah. Here we are talking about nomadic people, hunter gatherers. There's no way to say, where did they see that? Somewhere else in South Africa, maybe in Botswana, maybe. Because they moved to the whole southern Africa. Yeah. Here. Oh, it wow. was considered as a holy animal. Oh, never hunt giraffe. A giraffe? They didn't hunt giraffe. Because they believed the long neck can get up to the clouds and bring the rain. Oh. The rain makers. Now they draw more here. We need more and more rain. They thought giraffe we were bringing need rain. What, when oh. they see the rain come, oh, thank you, giraffes. For I mean, <laughs> wow. Are there any more? Or these are the only ones? Yeah, this is the only one, but we are still going to see more yeah. on the other side, too. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. This is the my Yeah, dear. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bye! Right, back towards the lodge. Ah, yes! See? These are fresh, fresh elephant droppings. Remember when I was at the Brandberg, um, I said that there was a herd of desert elephant that I just missed there. They were in the Ugab River and I just missed them because they moved on. And I just heard that they are now here. They were here last night. So they've walked from the Ugab River to the Hoab River that I passed today. And they are here, they're, like, they're in the area. I can't believe that just, I missed them by one day that they were here. But that also means that there's still a chance that I will see them if I'm extremely lucky. But uh, so cool. I feel like I'm kind of tracking these elephants now. Anyway, I'm back at the lodge. Um, so that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.